praise today. We appreciate you. We let the Lord touch the West family right now. Yeah. Amen. Touch that situation in the name of Jesus. Sometimes it's good to just look back. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I think it, that we praise the Lord a lot better if we if we use our memories a lot more. Instead of using our desires, amen, for the future, if we would just use our memories a little bit more, we'd be able to praise the Lord just a little bit better. Somebody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Remember what the Lord has done? Yes. Hallelujah. Now we're not over. Yes. Now I got over. How did I make it over? You know my soul is back in wonder. How I make it over. Oh, 
me. I'm gonna thank my God for all he's done for me. Yeah, how I got over falling and right all these years. You know, my soul looks back and wonders how did I make it over? Anybody ever wonder? Anybody ever wonder? How did I make it through? How did I make it through the abuse? How did I make it through the treatment? How did I make it through the poverty? The sickness? Somebody said it had to be the Lord. It had to be the Lord. Because I wanted to give up too many times. It had to be the Lord that was keeping me. It had to be the Lord that was leading me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord for the people of the Lord. I just want to turn back to that book of Numbers, the recording of Numbers, the 27th chapter. And I'm just going to read from the 4th through to the 7th verse. All right, all right. Amen. All right. Then I'm going to jump over to Romans, the 8th chapter. Amen. Numbers 27, and then I'm going to jump over to Romans, chapter 8. Numbers, the 27th chapter, and the 4th verse, it reads, Why should the name of our father be removed from among his family? Because he had no son. Give us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, The daughters of uh, Zalathahad speak what is right. right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. Mm -hmm. Then I just want to jump over to Romans the 8th chapter. Amen and the 16th verse, and it reads on this wise. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Lord, and blessing to me and also to those that hear his word. And for, uh, in honor of uh, Women's History Month, to close, that's coming to a close, I just want to preach today for a little while, a woman's place. A woman's place. Pray with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask right now that you continue to dwell with us in the form of your precious Holy Spirit. Move among these your people and have thine own way. Open the hearts and the minds of the waiting congregation that stands before me, that they might receive the words you have deposited into your servant's spirit. Lord, I furthermore request that you would take me and hide me behind the shadow of the cross, that they might not see me but Christ in me. Bless somebody's soul today. Cleanse and make them whole. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. 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 A woman's place. Well, that's a good question to start off with. Where is a woman's place? Mm-hmm. For, some people, for some people that... That, that question may make you a little nervous. That question may make you squirm a little bit as you think that there might be something uh, 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 uncomfortable about to be said. Something that might uh, 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 unnerve some of the feminists the most. Some of those that 
that that believe that women are, are treated uh, uh, unfairly in many instances. But what is a woman's place? What is a woman's job? There used to be a time when certain occupations were associated with women. Uh, it was strange to see a woman, I mean a man, call himself a nurse. That's right. Uh, it was strange to see a uh, 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 but at the same, in the same respect, it was strange to see a woman as a, gyne uh, as a gynecologist. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 there, uh, there, there are roles that are bit, have been assigned to us because of sex. Mm -hmm. And what is a woman's place? Well, the answer to that question depends on who you ask. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Because you got men that have their definition of a woman's place. Trust me. Their place, according to some men, is somewhere uh, to the rear of a man. But close enough to make him look good. Mm -hmm. And when you go down through history, you know women have fought for their place in this world. They point out that Eve was taken from the rib of Adam's side, so she should be of equal service. She wasn't taken from his back, and she wasn't so 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 he shouldn't be in front of her, and she wasn't taken from his foot, so he shouldn't be standing on top of her. Amen. That's right. right. But today, women still struggle to gain equal footing within the law and just in the mind and consciousness of society in general. Mm -hmm. Now privately, a lot of men think that women's place is in the home. They ain't going to say it out loud. <laughs> they better not. <laughs> but that's what they believe. Amen? Amen? In fact, they expect to find her in her place uh -huh. when they get home or at least as soon as she get off from work. Right. They expect to find her in her place. And the confused signals that society sends leaves a lot of women frustrated when they try to define themselves. Amen. Women have to fight for everything. They have to fight about their body images. They have to fight about the the concept of beauty and the concept of attractiveness being defined by others. Mm -hmm. They always either seem to be written off, written up, or overwritten. Mm -hmm. And no one seems to know just what he or she really wants from a woman. Mm -hmm. And you know what is complicated Many folds, if you're a black woman. See, unlike white women, black women have always served inside the home and outside the home. Mm -hmm. uh, white women uh, 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 were thought uh, that it was something to fight for in order for them to be able to work outside the home. But black women, they had been doing it all along doing somebody else's laundry before they went back home and did their own. Mm -hmm. Cooking for somebody else's family before they went back home and cooked for their own. Yes. Taking care of somebody else's baby, even going so far as breastfeeding somebody else's baby before they... Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Went home and took care of their own. And women have so many jobs, you know, a lot of times it's, it's kind of hard to keep up with them all. And if we would just pay women, a lot of women, uh, 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 just a uh, 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 minimum wage, $15 an hour, that's what they pay folk working at McDonald's nowadays. Mm -hmm. She'd have a lot of money to take home. Wow. Just think about it. She spends 44 hours a week as a nursemaid. Taking care of everybody's boo-boo. Wow. And everybody's sickness. Mm -hmm. 
her husband even turns into a baby mm. when he gets y'all don't hear what I'm talking Amen. about she spent another two hours being a dietitian trying to figure out what to cook and how to keep everybody healthy she spends, spends another three and a quarter hours being a purchasing agent she got to buy everybody's clothes and, 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 and all their equipment to go to school and whatever they need to do she spent another 13.1 hours either as a cook or a waitress. Amen. Amen. She spent another 6.2 as a dishwasher and another 17.5 as the housekeeper and yeah. another 5.9 as the laundry maid and yeah. another 1.3 as a seamstress and another 6 as the, a simple practical nurse. Mm. Another 1.7 as the maintenance worker. Amen. Another Amen. 2 as the chauffeur yeah. and social secretary keeping yeah. up with everybody's appointments right. and making sure they get there on time and she spends another 5.3 hours just pitch hitting for an absentee father that don't never come around when he say no. At $15 an hour, that's 125 hours a week. She'd be pulling in about $1,875 a week if somebody paid her. Amen? But where does a woman stand, which is what I came to talk to you about, where does a woman stand before God? See, when it comes to God, the woman's place is not measured by her proximity to no man. But by the closeness of her walk with God. Her role is the same as that of a man. To be used as an instrument of the Most High God. Wherever she happens to serve, she wants to be used by God. And I'm proud to know that God has a place for everybody. Amen. I've always pushed to, uh, for people to serve in whatever capacity uh, that their gifts would allow. No matter what their uh, 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 sex was, whether they're male or female. Amen? Amen. Our place is to join all the others yes, yes. that say, Lord, I'm going to help usher in the day when every knee shall bow mm -hmm. and every tongue shall confess yes. that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. That's where women stand when it comes to God. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this text could kind of slip by you and you might not even notice it if you, mm -hmm. uh, unless you were uh, somewhat of a a, uh, an Old Testament scholar or you were doing some Old Testament scholarly uh, um, uh, studies on, on the women of the Bible. But it shows a woman that was came to Moses and stood up boldly for herself and her sisters to claim her inheritance. Zelophehad uh, was a descendant of Joseph and was a God-fearing man and and he died leaving no sons to take his portion of his inheritance of the promised land. And though he had, he had obeyed all the laws, he, he stood by all the statutes, he was pious, he was dutiful. His family was deprived of a rightful place because he had only five daughters and no sons. In ancient Israel, they passed the possessions or the money the wealth of, 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 of a family, of a father that died down to the living sons. Mm -hmm. And the oldest son got a double portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the shares were spread among the other uh, younger sons. And if a man didn't have any sons, then he transferred all of his wealth to his brothers. Mm -hmm. okay. Or to his father's brothers, or to his next of kin in his family. And a man who only had daughters, he was risking losing everything that he built if he died. His family could be destitute uh, if they didn't depend on the kindness of relatives. Anybody that's gone through the death of a relative and money gets involved, uh, you think you're going to depend on the kindness of a relative to take care of you when somebody that loved you has died. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
and they have all control of the money, you better think again. Amen? Amen. Women had no rights of inheritance. And according to the law, they couldn't be heirs. And, and they had no legal standing before the eyes of the law as far as Moses knew. But Zelophehad's daughters were different. They believed that they were, and this was crazy thinking back then, that they were equal in the sight of God to any man. Amen. And these women had to be crazy. <laughs> Their family had been loyal to Moses. Their father had, been, had not been part of this revolt, the revolt, uh, the revolt of Korah. They weren't complainers. You know, Korah tried to revolt. You know, the Levites. Mm -hmm. Korah was, was, was one of the Levites. And they were, they, what their job was, was to put up and to break down the tabernacle. You know, mm -hmm. they put it up. And then when it was time to move, they broke it down. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to revolt because uh, the men, the Levite men wanted to revolt because uh, they said uh, 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 that they, they, their, their spot wasn't as, as illustrious as the priest. In other words, they, 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 they were like some in the churches today. They don't want to serve on the usher board. They don't want to serve unless they can preach. Mm. <laughs> How about that? They don't want to clean nothing up. They don't want to wipe down nothing. They don't want to clean the bath. They don't want to do anything like that. They, they too good for that. and they, they, they want to serve only where they can be seen. Yeah. And so they revolted. And she said her father wasn't a part of that revolt. He didn't complain. He didn't talk about he 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 was a Levite, but he didn't he didn't complain about his 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 station. He he just did what he was supposed to do. Amen. 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 So they couldn't understand why they should be kept from assuming their rightful portion of their father's will. And this was crazy thinking at the time, and those were times when 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 they commanded women not even to speak. Or act or make decisions without consulting a man. Amen. Amen? Amen? It's like some of the repressive countries that you see today. Where a woman can't even have a driver's That's license. Right. That's right. Yeah. If she want to go somewhere, she got to ask the man to take her. Amen? Amen? Those were times you have to understand when women were traded in marriages. And, and paraded before the masses at the whims of their men. Amen? Amen? And for five women to stand up and demand an inheritance, that was a big deal. Yes. <laughs> Amen? Amen? And I know it caused some gossip among the women of their time. <laughs> I know they got called some names. Oh, mm -hmm. And I know they, they, they probably said they ain't no real women. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, you know one of them even got a man's name, Noah. Yeah. <laughs> I know something wrong with him. <laughs> Probably made a most suspect of them, but they stood demanding their rightful place. Amen. And these women had an earnest desire for a place in the land of promise. Yes. Yes. And the land of promise is a type of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. I wish I had some Bible scholars in here. The land of promise represents, is a earthly representation of the kingdom of heaven when you study your Bible. Yes. Amen? Amen? I'm not going to get into that too deep. Amen? But they had an earnest desire for their place in the kingdom. You can't take away our place in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Just because our father died, he was a righteous man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, you know what? I'm going to go and talk to the Lord about this. And he went and he talked to the Lord about this. And Moses heard the Lord tell him to do right by these women. Even though they were females. They were still heirs of the promise. Oh, Amen. And the triumph that these women had, which was recorded in the 27th chapter of Numbers, you can go back and read it for yourself, is tempered, though, with an additional command in chapter 36, which allowed them to be heirs, but in order for them to marry, they had to marry within their family clan. Mm. To keep the inheritance from falling into the hands of another family. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Amen? Amen? So their rights were upheld, but they had to, to also 
abridged them to the extent that they didn't negatively impact the whole clan yes. okay. and bankrupt the whole clan. Y'all yes. hear what I'm talking about? Yes. Then we switch over to Paul. Paul writing in Romans uh, said that every believer has a great inheritance as, the child of, as a child of God. Mm -hmm. And as children of God, we are heirs to the salvation. Y'all get me? Mm -hmm. That means there's no there's there, 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 there's no difference in in, in sexes uh, and races and national origins or wherever you from or whatever the case may be. We're all equal before God. Amen. 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 A woman's place in what I'm talking about today is the same as a man's place. Right. We're both heirs of the kingdom. Amen. We both bear responsibility to serve the Lord. And to share the rewards of our faith in the Lord. What is a woman's place? What is a woman's job? Well, it's the same as a man's job. To walk humbly before the Lord. And to serve the Lord with all thy heart and with all thy might. But you know what? We, we got we to gotta back up. Because, because when we say a woman's job, we can't be talking about all women. You know, the way they treated that black woman this Last week. Oh, yeah. oh, that's going to be a sermon for another day. Mm -hmm. But what about a black woman's place? Mm -hmm. Because you know in times past, you had you say you had a woman's place. Mm -hmm. And you had women fighting for, for women's rights, but a lot of them were, 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 were white women fighting mm -hmm. for women's rights. Amen? Mm -hmm. What about a black woman's place? Because see, throughout history, black women have always worn many hats. Yes. All right. Played all kind of roles mm -hmm. in the family and everywhere else. And, 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 and different than, 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 than white women in, in some, and, and some women in some other races. Black women has had, hadn't had the privilege of living a sheltered life. Mm -hmm. Black women had to work in the field and then come and, and, and take care of their babies in the field on their backs. Amen. Mm. While white women were sipping tea and going about their business uh, with their husband, uh, uh, taking care of them and, 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 and planning parties and all kind of things like mm. that. Amen? Amen. And see, the social circumstances of history have cast her in the role, that role of a field hand, a nanny, a cook a concubine, a housekeeper, a mother, and a wife. But I saw the strength of black of a black woman this week uh, with the confirmation hearing. I saw the strength of a black woman, the strength of a black woman that will get tough with you if you want to get tough. If they attack, they get tough. And when they're shown kindness, they cry. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Amen. According to the Department of Labor, 60.5% of black people employed in America are women. All throughout history, it's always been more men working than women. Mm -hmm. Until about 1988, all that changed. Black women started it's going past <laughs> men in the workforce. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And the black woman came into the workforce and she began to earn about the same money as a man. Mm -hmm. and they, were defined, they were redefining their place in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they had some money now. Amen. So you ain't going to be talking to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying these bills too. Amen. Somebody know what I'm talking about today. <laughs> Black women started going into the workforce and they 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 they, they no longer were just house cleaners and domestics and black women were rising up in the workplace. They, they were becoming managers, amen. Mm -hmm. You know, fifty years ago a, a, a black woman she was either a domestic worker or she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the way to go. Mm -hmm. And segregation, they closed the doors for 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 us, but for, for a lot of our women and sexism closed the rest of the doors, amen? Mm -hmm. But that whole thing got flipped. The top occupations for women nowadays is, is, is according to the Department of Labor, is nursing aides, and orderlies and attendants, followed by cashiers and secretaries and then retail workers, cooks, 
registered nurses, janitors, cleaners, teachers, sales <coughs> supervisors, corporate, and medical. All this stuff just represents that we want to remember that women are a part of society in a big way. And you know, those work numbers, they don't say anything about the 2.7 million women who own businesses and pull in about $16.5 billion in revenue a year. You know, black women account for about 40% of the black-owned businesses in America now. When women started being more, uh, increasing their education, the black woman started being more successful. And about 62% of women who graduated from high school went to work, according to the 2010 census. And, and those who got at least a bachelor's degree found that 83% of them went to work outside the home. And so it's getting real clear. The black woman of the day is more educated. She earned more money. And she's more likely to land a decent job than ever before. Amen? So the brothers got to step up. Amen? You know, it pains me when I, when I see a, a successful black woman. In order for her to, uh, 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 to uh, be, uh, continue to, to date uh, within her own race, uh, she got to dumb herself down. Y'all don't hear what I'm talking about today. Uh, he driving her car. He living in her house. Amen? Because you see, there's some trade-offs that you need to think about too. A lot of women struggle to compete in the job market and then they find themselves in this crazy little awkward position where they're competing not only in the workplace, but they're competing as a mother and a wife. Wow. A lot of times their children and their, their husband are, are forced to compete for quality time. Yes. Too often the family loses, you know. Because mm -hmm. we got a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to work overtime and it's all hands on deck to get that money. Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And the, another part of the problem is, is single parents had about 48% of the 8 million black families in America. And that's increasing uh, 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 almost yearly because of divorce, and because of the high rate of teen sexuality. That's going up and up and up. And it looks worse when you think about the fact it, and you start to compare about 25% of Hispanics have female headed homes and about 14% of whites and about 13% of Asians have uh, female headed homes as compared to 48% of black families. And as the number of female households, female headed household goes up, so does the poverty rate, 53% as we stand here today. Female-headed households are below the poverty rate. And the most endangered entity in the community is the family. Like the daughters that we talked about here today, women, you've got to exercise your right to the extent that you do not negatively impact your family. Men and women, you've got to assess the importance of keeping your family together. Amen. Women, you got to to not accept uh, uh, women with female high-headed households, you gotta uh, 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 not accept that or believe that that's an acceptable alternative. I said this before, you know, uh, 40, uh, uh, 40 years ago, it, it would be surprising to see a single mother with three kids, amen? But now we see a single mother with three kids all different shades and all different hair textures and it don't even bother us no more. Yeah. We don't think there's anything peculiar about it. And we've got to get to the point where it's not acceptable, it's not an alternative lifestyle all right. All right. to just uh, 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 have children and, 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 and to, to, to do it uh, uh, without forming a family unit. Amen? Amen. 
working wives, you got to make tough decisions. You got to discover your career. You got to compete for your husband. You got to compete for your children. And you got to get to the point. Many of us, especially if you're a single mother, you got to be. You got to get to the point where you're raising men. <laughs> somebody ought to help me in here. Yeah. <laughs> that somebody wants to be their mate. Yeah. You're going to baby these boys until don't nobody even want them to be their yeah. mate. They don't even know how to be nobody's mate. Yeah. You done wash their clothes and cook their food and, and baby them and, and, and did everything that you could to make to show them that you love. Sometimes you got to show them boys that they got to make make it on their own. Right. It's called tough love. <laughs> That's the challenge. To find your place. Find your place and fit in. Amen? Amen. But, sisters, I'm not trying to get tough with you. Amen. Brothers, I might be being a little hard on you. But the black woman's place in the family is that of an equal helper right. to her husband and the mother of her children. Amen. The black woman's place in society is as a citizen of equal work. If you work and do the same job that I do, you ought to get equal pay. Amen. But what is a woman's place before God? When God looks down on us, he sees humankind. He doesn't see womankind or mankind. He sees humankind. He only sees a child of God. Yes. An heir to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I serve an equal opportunity provider, God. Amen. 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 Receiving blessings from God don't have nothing to do with being a man. That's true. Receiving a blessing from God and getting a prayer through don't have nothing to do with being a man. My God is an equal opportunity employee. Right. I hear Hannah talking to the Lord. She say, if you give me a child, I'm going to bring him back to you, Lord. Yes, sir. An equal opportunity blessing. Amen. Yes. I hear Esther talking. Esther said, if, if you save my people from destruction, I'll serve you for the rest of my life. Yes. I hear Ruth talking to Naomi. Your people shall be my people. Yes. And your God shall be my God. I'm looking for some serving women today. I'm looking for some women that are looking to lay down their life for the Lord. What God does for one, he'll do for the other. You know, we like to talk about the men of the Bible. We, love, we like to talk about Job, but how many people don't know that there was a Mrs. Job? When Job lost all his money and lost his children, yes. Mrs. Job lost all her money and lost all her yes. children. Yes. She had faith just like Job had yes. faith. We like to remember Noah and the ark, but what about Mrs. Noah? Right. No, Mrs. Noah was on the ark shoving all that nasty animal stuff. She stayed on the ark. Yes. She had faith too. Yes. No wonder I heard a songwriter say there is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. There is no secret what God can do. It's not a woman's place. It's not a man's place. It's our place. To, it's our place before God to worship him. It's our place before God to bow down before him. It's our place before God to serve Him with all my mind and all my body and all my soul. I don't know about you, but every time I feel the Spirit, I break off into a prayer. I break off into a praise anytime. And I dare you to, to let me get a blessing because I'm going to give a praise. My place <coughs> is right there with God. Your place is right here with God to serve Him humbly. Right there with Jesus yes. who died for our sins. At the cross He guaranteed all of us yes. equality and eternal life. All right. yes, all right. But at the empty tomb He guaranteed that all of us have an inheritance. Yes. At the cross, at the cross mm -hmm. yes. where I first saw the light yes. and the burdens of my heart 
rolled away. It was there by faith that I received my sight. And now I'm happy all the day. It doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man. I serve a blessing God. It doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man. You got a doctor in a sick room and a lawyer in a courtroom. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. You got a God that can heal and a God that can deliver. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. I'm going to get my blessing today. I'm going to lift up my hand and praise my God. When you went in high school, he was good. Yeah. When you got out of high school, he was good. Yeah. Yeah. When some of you went off to school, he was good. Yeah. When you got married, he was good. Yeah. And the same way he was good to you, he'd been good to me. Yeah. Don't we serve a God that's worthy? Yeah. Give him some praise today. Thank you. I don't care what some man tell you. Amen. They might try to make you wear pants. I mean, might try to make you wear dresses all the way down to your ankles. <laughs> try to tell you that you shouldn't preach and that you should teach. Amen. Try to tell you that you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. And you know one thing I've learned about people that tell other people what they shouldn't do? They ain't going to do nothing they sell. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all right. women, keep on serving. Yes. Keep on giving. Right. Keep on praising. Yes. And you'll find out that my God is able yes. to do exceedingly, yes. abundantly, yes. beyond all you can ask or think. Yes. He can change things for you. Yes. When you serve Him, He can change things for your children. Yes. When you serve him, he can change things for your husband. When you serve him, he can change things on your job. Y'all women, just keep on serving the Lord. I'm telling you, he'll make a way for you. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, he will. I know the Lord. Will make a way. Yes, you will. Come on, I want some women that, 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 that have been serving for a while to help me say, I know the Lord. I know the Lord. We'll make a way. For me and for you. Yes, he 
years have heard. Lord, we thank you for the women that have served in this church and continue to serve. Lord, let them take their rightful place. They're heirs to the promises of the kingdom. Therefore, they have no need to be ashamed. They can serve in spirit and in truth. May the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with each and every one of us, henceforth, now, and forevermore. And the people of God say amen. 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 God bless you. Go.